two 35 pound kettlebells. If I gotta break it up like I did set one, then it's just gonna be broken up, but I already grabbed the weight, so I'm committed to it. <laughs> That's it. I set one. Yes, I pulled this out of my ass. I pulled it right out of my ass. But there has to be a point in your mind where you just shut up and you just fucking do it. And I hate ruffling feathers because I know we all have like different circumstances, have different responsibilities. I get that, I hear you. But at the end of the day, it still has to get done. Good morning, good morning, you guys. And happy hump day. It's the Wednesday leg day. You know the vibes are about to be crazy. You know we're gonna get crazy today. Definitely gonna build up a sweat. Heart rate gonna be up there. Like, it's, it's gonna be a whole vibe. I feel good. I got eight hours of sleep last night. I feel amazing. Nothing hurts. <laughs> Joints feel great, which is why we took it light yesterday, because I was like, you know what? It's back and biceps. I'd rather not do any jumping around so that today, on leg day, <laughs> when we're trying to kill the quads, <laughs> when, we're trying to, when we're trying to really destroy the muscle fibers, I would rather get it in today. So. I'm hype, I'm ready, mood is great. It's, it's, we, we gonna burn 1,200 plus calories today. It's, it's no choice, okay? I'm gonna finish getting myself together in here. We're gonna head out and start leg day. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's pretty standard that we start on the leg extension machine. I feel like it's just a great warm up for me. So I really enjoy it. But we're gonna make it a circuit. <laughs> So I already did one set just to kind of warm up. So everything started off relatively light. So now we're gonna get into some heavy sets. Double legs down to single legs. 60 seconds of jump roping, 20 jump squats. And since we didn't do abs yesterday, we're gonna incorporate abs today. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of planks. Um, I already did one set, I did 45 seconds. The next set I do, I'm gonna put a weight on my back. So, you know, yeah, we're kind of warming up, but we're also getting serious now. <laughs> so that's gonna be the circuit. Look, I've already burned 100 calories in six minutes. That's what I'm talking about. It's serious. <laughs> we really doing this, all right? <laughs> so for my first, or my, for my real working set here, we're going to do 80. What? Don't, what the fuck? No. Why did my watch decide to call some random person? at three o'clock in the morning. Yo. <laughs> oh my God, like, what the fuck? All right, <laughs> anyways. Wow, hopefully they don't call me back. <laughs> that was definitely an accident. All right, so for the working set, let's start with a 90. Let's go with 90. I feel like that's, it's heavy, but it's, it's not. And let's find some music. Okay, single leg. Uh, we'll do 50. Okay, here we go. Mm. 
Ah. Mm. Ah. All right, you guys, 60 seconds of jump rope at a good pace. Uh, <laughs> this hair be in the way. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, you guys. 20 jump squats. We're doing planks. All right, you guys, this time I'm gonna do 100 pounds, 20 reps. Oh, fuck. Woo. Jesus. All right. Let's try 60 for single leg. I notice when I, when I have the weight too heavy for single leg, I feel like my knee is doing just way too much work trying to support it. And I no longer feel it in my quad. It's like more of a knee workout, which is not what I want. So we'll try 60. If it starts to feel that way, I'm dropping the weight back. But we'll start with 60 and see how it goes. Ah, 
Six. Five. Oh. Mm. Nah. All right. I'm special. Get your nails done. Alright guys, jump squats. Plank again. Okay. <laughs> Hope y'all can see me. All right, you guys, last set. Just a set four for me, but y'all saw three sets. The first set was light. So now I have it on 110. Try to knock out 20 reps here. <laughs> here we go. Let's do 60 again, single leg. Well, we'll try 65. We'll do 65. So five pounds more than last set. Mm. 
Ah, that's it. Oh, God. All right, 60 seconds again. All right, you guys, jump squats again. We're done. All right, you guys. So look, we've already burned 600 calories. We've been in here for 50 minutes, so we're making we're making good we're making good progress. All right, we're gonna do walking lunges, up and down, volume today. Last time we did walking lunges, did less reps, heavier weight. So I have two 35-pound kettlebells here. So we're gonna do 20. Each leg is 20, not 20 all together, but you gotta count. We're doing 20 on each leg, okay? Then once we do that, we're gonna immediately drop the weight and do as many jumping lunges as possible before we can stop. Body weight jumping lunges, okay? So that's the vibe right now. Gotta get the good music in my ear, and I'm gonna go up and down. And I, when I edit, you guys, I'll try to zoom in so y'all can see what we're doing. I don't think I'm gonna necessarily We'll just get into it. We'll just get into it, because <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. 35. <sighs> Oh my god. Why did I sign up for this? Okay, I'm coming back. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Ah. 
Uh, uh. Okay, I got five more. It's like, okay, I'm coming. Uh. Nah. Uh, hold on. Uh, we got two more each leg. Uh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Two more each leg. Yeah. Fuck. All right, jumping lunges. Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go. That's it. That's that one. All right, you guys, about to do set number two. Yeah, that shit was no joke. <laughs> Baby, that shit was no joke. Same thing, I'm keeping the weight the same, 35, 35. Two 35 pound kettlebells. If I gotta break it up, like I did set one, then it's just gonna be broken up, but I already grabbed the weight, so I'm committed to it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's stop talking and just get to it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, here I come. Okay. Here I come. Five more each leg. Jumping lunges. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's it. We're done. 
All right, you guys, set number three. I meant to tell y'all, my heart rate each set got up to 175, so we definitely doing something. All right, set number three, same thing. Let me restart my music. I'm keeping the same weight, y'all. Woo, here we go. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. All right, here I come. Fuck. Okay. Here I come. I got five more each leg. I'm coming. All right, here I come. Here I come. Jumping lunges. All right, here I go. Yeah, that's it. Motherfucker. Okay. All right, you guys. We are gonna conclude leg day with some conditioning. I have this AV bike here, 30 seconds all out, dropping down into 10 burpees. I got a sled on there with a good amount of weight, but the sled got wheels on it, so it make it a little easier. We're gonna pull that all the way to the red box, walk back at a quick pace, and do single leg wall sits, 30 seconds each leg, that's set one. Yes, I pulled this out of my ass. <laughs> pulled it right out of my ass. <laughs> Are y'all ready for some fun? All right, let me play my music. And we're gonna get into it. And I got a timer behind me. So that's the timer I'll be going off of. All right, y'all ready? Here we go.
This is too easy. I should have got the one without the wheels. We're gonna reevaluate this, y'all. I should have got the one without the wheels. Next day, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out the sleds. All right, wall sits 30 seconds each leg. All right, here we go. Alright, next leg. Next set, we're gonna do the sled without the wheels. I grabbed that one because all the weight was already on it. So I was like, all right, cool, easy. That one, there's no friction. All right, you guys, I swapped out the sleds. So I got the sled with no wheels this time because the one with the wheels, it just was too easy. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> so that was still set one. So now we're on set two. Okay, play some music. Alright. Alright, here we go. One more. Nah.
Oh, fuck. Okay. Wall sets. Okay. Nah. All right, you guys, set three. Ah. All right. Uh. One more. Uh, all right, here we go.
Ah. 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 All right, wall sits. I'll just do them right here. Hope y'all can see me. I got 10 seconds for the timer. All right, here we go. Ah. Ah. Okay, other leg. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Oh, we got one more set, y'all. That's it. All right, you guys. Last set. Last set. We got to get everything we got. This is the last set. Last set. Push yourself. I'm going to restart my music. Last set. We going all in. Y'all ready? <laughs> Am I ready? That's the question. All right, here we go. Everything we got right here. Ah. Oh God. Oh my God. One more. Huh. Oh, God. Come on. We gotta push it. Come on. 
Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Cross it. We're almost done. I'm gonna start in two, one. Ah. 10 more seconds on this leg. Ten, eight, done. Fuck. Heart rate one eighty one. We did it. Woo, we did it. We burned a total of. 1,520 calories today. All right, let me clean up everything. And we're gonna go talk. Probably in the posing room. Mother ah, what did y'all think? <laughs> I'm telling you, I go crazy. I may not go crazy every day, right? But uh, I always make sure to go fucking crazy. Like, it's crazy because I was thinking about it in my head. I'm like, okay, yeah, four sets. That that shouldn't be that shouldn't be too challenging. It's something about getting off that AV bike, y'all, and going right into the burpees that just kills me. It kills me. And it's crazy because you would think that the bike wouldn't be that hard, but y'all, it's really that fucking hard. Like that AV bike is no joke. It takes the life out of you. So if your gym has that, do not be afraid to give that a go. You know what else is really good? I used to do this in CrossFit, the AV bike or the rower. You know, I haven't done the rower since I've been on this weight loss journey, but that rower where you sit and you have your feet in front of you and you pull, <laughs> that shit is no joke either. So between the AV bike and the rower, like you're definitely getting a full body workout there, child. And then burpees. <laughs> oh my gosh. And my trainer told me to try those single leg wall sits, y'all. Next time, I'll try to get a little lower. Um, you know, as you keep doing stuff, your body just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So my body, we, I used to do single leg wall sits before, but I totally forgot they existed. So, so I can't get as low as I once could, but I'm sure over the next few weeks, if we keep incorporating that, I'll get 90 degrees in no time. So, you know, th today they were, they were not quite 90 degrees, but... I definitely felt that burn in the quads for sure. And it's crazy because my left, my right leg can handle it better than my left. It's crazy how like one side of your body is stronger than the other. Like it's, it's fucking absurd. Um, Cause I'm left-handed. So you would think it'd be my left, but it was actually my right. So the right, I was able to, I, I was able to hit 30 seconds with only taking like one break, like one, two second break. Whereas on the left leg, I had to keep taking breaks. Like my left leg just could not handle it. <laughs> it couldn't handle it. It was like, bro, what are we doing? <laughs> so we will keep incorporating wall sit variations between the weighted ones with the 45 pound plate or whatever, whatever weight you can do. And then the single legs. <laughs> That was great that was great the right music and you just feel amazing so you know my body is I'm gonna ice today to say the least oh, my watch is like are you done because your heart rate ain't moving <laughs> um, definitely gonna ice today make sure that my knees 
feel good for tomorrow. We killed it, y'all. 1,500 calories. What did I say in the locker room? I said the goal was, what, 1,200? We exceeded that. We exceeded that. And those walking lunges, you guys, those were fucking crazy. <laughs> Literally, as I'm sitting here, I can see my quads. Y'all can't see them because I have the camera too high up. But just looking in the mirror, like, sick. It's fucking sick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, I cannot wait to... There's no such thing as finishing the body. Like, I feel like you're always going to want to make improvements until the day you die. But I just cannot wait to, to slim down and just see these beautiful muscles. Like, I'm so excited for this. Like, I, I'm so excited for this. Like, I cannot wait. Prepare to be sick of me this summer, y'all. Like, I'm telling y'all, just be prepared to be sick of me, okay? Because if, if y'all, if, if y'all, just, just prepare, prepare to be sick of me. Please just prepare. Just mentally prepare to get sick of me. Because I'm telling you, when the body touches down, when the body touches down, bro, when the body lands, it's over. It's fucking over. So I am so excited. Um, all right. So I want to talk to you guys just more about like pushing yourself. You know, sometimes I'm not going to lie. I got all my sleep. I was feeling hype, but there was, hold on. TikTok always thinks that I'm not here, even though I'm here. Um, that was only to verify that I'm still active. But anyways, there's always a time, there's always going to be times where you just don't feel like it, right? There's going to be times where you might be sleepy, where you might be hungry, you might just be drained. You know, the list goes on and on and on of all the excuses we can come up with as to why we don't feel like working out, right? It, <laughs> like, we can, we, can, we can make a list, okay? We can make a list. But I talked about this yesterday on live. You just have to hustle and just do it. Because if you continue to allow your excuses to run your life, and again, this is not everything that I say is not just geared towards weight loss and fitness. Like, I know that's what we're doing on this channel, but I really want to motivate you guys with anything, with anything that you want to do. You can do it. But there has to be a point in your mind where you just shut up and you just fucking do it. And I hate ruffling feathers because I know we all have like different circumstances. You know, we all have different responsibilities. I get that. I hear you. But at the end of the day, it still has to get done. Right? Like, okay, maybe you work 12-hour shifts. Well, do you work 12-hour shifts every day? Probably not. So on those days where you don't work 12-hour shifts, those be the days that you go to the gym. Those are the days that you meal prep. Those are the days that you lock in on your health. Because I feel you, if I work 12-hour shifts, I mean, I do, but I'm not, like, on my feet. But between editing content, making content, you know, being active on my OF page, I'm, I'm, I'm working 12 hours too, going live, all that stuff. I couldn't imagine being on my feet for 12 hours and dealing with people, coworkers, and then still finding the energy and the motivation to go to the gym. I never had 12 hour shifts, unless I was like picking up overtime, right? But if you're working 12 hour shifts, you're probably only working those three days out of the week. So therefore, unless you're picking up overtime, so then therefore, those other four days, you work out. Those other four days, you make sure that you eat healthy, right? Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's never easy. I can tell y'all, weight loss was by far the hardest thing I ever did. And I've accomplished a lot of things. I got a bachelor's degree. I, I run a business. My business is my bread and butter. That's how I pay my bills. It's hard. But weight loss and you know losing all of this weight was the hardest thing because it's like you are forced to make the right decision multiple times a day. Every time you're hungry, every time it's time to eat something, you have to make the right decision most of the time or you're not going to lose any weight, right? Calorie deficiency, eating less than what your body needs to function. That's hard. And to consistently do that every day on top of meal planning, on top of working out, even though you're already sore, that was the hardest thing I ever did in life. Harder than a bachelor's degree, and I had a bachelor's in biology for people, you know. So, anatomy labs, chemistry labs, all that shit was fucking hard, right? But still, weight loss was the hardest. Was the hardest by far. The hardest. But I got it done. 
And then on top of that, I was vegan. So even that's challenging within itself when you're first starting because you're not used to eating plants all fucking day. Then you got Thanksgiving. I have to pass on the macaroni and cheese at Thanksgiving, right? I see everybody eating all these delicious fattening foods that I grew up on, and now I can't eat it because not only am I losing weight, but I'm vegan, and that doesn't fit the (laughs) vegan lifestyle. So, of course, it was hard. But you get to a point where you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. So excuses do nothing for us. It's really about how badly do you want to change. And some people just aren't there yet. I always say to you guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you are desperate for a change, you cannot live like this anymore, you have to be at a 20. You have to exceed that. Because if you're just kind of hanging out on the fence, right, like you're kind of in but not all the way, you're not going to stay consistent. You're going to fall off after a few weeks when it really gets tough. When the motivation goes away, you're going to fall off. Only the strong survive. (laughs) I'm laughing, but it's true. Only the strong survive. And it's not even strong physically. It's strong mentally. That's why I talk so much about mental health. And I just want to make you guys aware. I lost weight when I was on my mental health journey, too. And at the time, before all the other times when I tried to lose weight, I was never successful at it. I yo-yo dieted. I would lose 20, gain 30 back for years. And just continuously, gradually, over time, get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's because I wasn't mentally there. There's so much that goes on with weight loss than just losing weight, okay? You, you need a lot of energy, okay? That's why I talk about the importance of surrounding yourself with people who are going to motivate you, not people who drain you, okay? That's why I talk about keeping your energy to yourself as much as possible, Right? If you are constantly drained all day, yeah, it's going to make it that much harder to focus on yourself. If you work at a toxic job, it's going to be even more challenging because by the time you get off, you're like depleted. Right? If you work in a place like I did where it's a whole bunch of women and it's just gossiping, and that is draining. It's toxic as hell. Tattle telling. I've been there, done that. I know. I know. And I used to be the youngest person in the department. Okay, so for the women, you already know what that comes with, right? It's draining, it's toxic. So by the time you get off, you're like done. You're fucking done, right? So I encourage you to find a new job if that's your situation, right? Because if you can't, if you can't figure out a way to mentally shut all of that out, which I couldn't, I was young, I didn't know how to do that. I didn't even realize that you know, being in that environment was what was draining me. I didn't know anything about energy back then. But I'm telling you guys, when you don't have a lot of energy for yourself, it's, it makes it that much harder to reach your goals, okay? You have to keep your energy as high as possible. That's why I always encourage you guys to start your day working out. Now, I know, you know, some people just love an evening workout. And if, and if that's what you love, then do it. Like, if that, if you're able to stay consistent, do it. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're a lunchtime gym rat, like, knock yourself out. But for those of y'all who don't have a routine, but you want to get one, and you're just not sure, I encourage you to try to do it first thing in the morning before you deal with everybody else. Because if you, can, if you can focus on yourself when you first wake up, when you have the highest amount of energy, it's going to make it easier. Because now as you get drained throughout the day, as you get tired and tired and tired, tired, more tired, <laughs> you've, already, you've already done that, right? So it's okay. So when you get off work, you can go home and chill because you finished. You, you, you worked on yourself this morning, okay? Just like if you want to meal prep and stuff, do it first thing in the morning. If, if you are going to meal prep once a week, you know, I personally have the most energy when I first wake up. That's why I prefer to work out in the morning, even before I was doing the YouTube. I just, I loved being an AMer, workout person, workout AMer. My time was normally between like 7, no, more like 8. Between 8 and 10 a.m. I was in here. So, you know, that worked for me. And my energy was at the highest, right? As you, as you go through the day, you just get more tired, more exhausted, more drained. So, you know, starting your day on you works for me. So, again, if you're not too sure what time may work for you, try it. 
Some people are more productive in the evening. That's just, that's just them, and that's totally fine. But for people like me, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely a early riser. I'm not a night owl. I'm not a night owl. I'm not. So, you know, you have to learn yourself. Another thing that I can tell you is to stop surrounding yourself with unhealthy food. Now, if you work in the food industry, of course it's going to be hard, right? I couldn't imagine trying to lose weight and I work in fast food. <laughs> I could not imagine working at Chick-fil-A and trying to lose weight at the same time. Like, that sounds damn near impossible. Because, hello, who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? <laughs> right? That used to be my spot. Before I was vegan, that was my spot. I couldn't imagine that. I couldn't imagine that. But some of the things that I noticed really made it challenging for me when I did have a clock-in job, you know, I, wouldn't eat, it, I would not eat lunch in the break room when I was on my little cutbacks. Because people would go get food and then bring it back. And then it's like, now you got to look at it. And you just have this boring ass salad here. right? You're just like, let me pretend that it's fried chicken from Popeye's, even though it's not. You know, so I would eat lunch in my car. So those are things you could do to make it easier for you. It's all about finding ways to make it feel like it's not hard. Even though it's hard to try to trick your mind into thinking that it's not will make it easier, right? Always pack your lunch. That way you're not going out to eat. Delete DoorDash and Uber Eats off your phone. Just delete the app. Just delete the app. <laughs> delete the app. Always have snacks. So when you do get hungry, and I'm not talking about like potato chips, like healthy snacks. Always keep healthy snacks on you. Always keep water on you. So these are things that you guys can do to make it easier so that you can be successful in your weight loss journey because nothing is worse than losing you know, 20 pounds or so and then you fall off and then you gain it all back. All that hard work that you put in to lose that weight and now you gotta do it again and then some because you didn't gain some of it back. That's hard, so let's stop doing it. Let's stop doing it. I want you to brainstorm and try to figure out ways that you can be consistent so that you can be one and done. So you can lose the weight and keep it off. I always talk about finding meals that you actually like to eat. Stop just making shit because you know it's healthy. If you don't like the way it tastes, don't make it because it's just gonna sit in the refrigerator for weeks <laughs> because you made it because you wanted to eat healthy, but you know damn well you don't like it, so you're not gonna eat it. <laughs> you're gonna find every excuse to go order food. So don't make it. Make foods that you like, but healthier versions. Substitute rice for quinoa. Substitute regular noodles for vegetable noodles. I love red lentil noodles. I tell you guys all the time, to me, red lentil noodles taste like regular noodles. They're just red. And they cook a little bit faster, so make sure you watch that. And if you're going to make vegetable noodles, make sure the water is boiling before you put it in there. Okay? And then remember, they cook faster. So just be in the vicinity. Don't throw them in the pot and you go do something else and now the noodles are soggy, okay? But these are ways that you can make things healthier. Don't put too much cheese on stuff. I don't eat cheese, you know, I'm vegan, but if you're gonna eat cheese, I think, I think the serving is only one fourth cup. So make sure you measure that shit out, okay? Don't go crazy and throw a whole bunch of cheese on your salad. So if you can make modifications to some of your favorite meals to make it healthier and to keep you in that caloric deficit, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And you're going to look forward to the food. And watch, as you keep going, you're going, to really, you're going to start preferring the healthier version over the regular version. Because now your body's used to that. Substitute regular potatoes for sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are good. Sweet potato fries, stick those bitches in the air fryer. Hell yeah! They're delicious. They're so good, okay? So figure out ways to be consistent. But yes, it's hard. And again, only the strong survive. I mean, we can try to make stuff as easy as possible, but it's still hard, you know? It's still gonna be a struggle. You're still gonna have days. And I, you know, I'm as transparent as possible. Some days I just don't fucking feel like it, but I still do it, you know? I'm still consistent. Sometimes you just gotta put your feelings to the side and just do it. It just is what it is. You either want it or you don't. You either want to be healthier or you don't. You're either tired of new year, new you, and not doing nothing about it, or you're not. 
and everybody reaches that point in their life at different stages. But, I mean, if you really want to get it done, you'll get it done. And if you are just bullshitting, you're going to bullshit. So, just keep that in mind. And as you get stronger physically, you get stronger mentally, it's not that bad. And sometimes I even find myself trying to convince myself, oh, this is going to be too hard. This is going to be too hard. I don't want to do it. And then I, the new me is like, girl, it is not that serious. <laughs> like, just do it. Like, it's only going to take 10 minutes. Like, what is 10 minutes out of 24 hours? Like, you start coaching yourself through stuff. I coach myself through sets. <laughs> I'll be like, there's no way I can do this. There's no way I can do back squats today. Like, I just cannot. <laughs> and then I'll be like, girl, it's only going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> Your sets are only going to be, like, 45 seconds. Like, it's really not that bad. But then there's that part of me that's like, oh my gosh, this is just going to be the worst. <laughs> but you realize over time, like, it's really not that bad. You hype yourself up for stuff that's really not that bad. <laughs> like, and you realize that, like, your sets are really only, like, 45 seconds, 30 seconds. Like, it's, like, the walking lunges, okay, those, those were about, what, two minutes? Okay, okay, you're right. But when we do back squats, the actual working set is like 45 seconds, maybe 30. Like, it's really not that long, okay? Doing planks, it's 30 seconds or it's 45 seconds, depending on, it's really not that long. (laughs) You know what I mean? In the grand scheme of things, it's really not that long long. If you're going to get on the elliptical for 20 minutes, what is 20 minutes out of 24 hours? It's not that long. You know what I mean? But we hype ourselves up and we convince ourselves that we can't do it or it's just going to be too much. And then we psych ourselves, we psych ourselves out of some shit that we could have just did. Just like with meal prepping. So many of you guys are like, oh, I just don't have the time. If you don't turn on the TV and watch your favorite reality TV show while you're cooking your food and stop complaining about you don't have time, you have time. You just don't want to have time. If you stop mindlessly scrolling on social and cook, you will be fine. You got to figure out ways to get it in there, but it can get in there quick. So keep all of that in mind. If you want to see what we did yesterday for back and biceps, make sure you guys click. No, it's going to be right here. Click right here. I'm going to put it right here today. Make sure you guys click right here. I'm going to go get in the sauna and meditate for 15 minutes, and then I'm ready to start my day. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys dark and early for chest, shoulders, and tries. Bye, you guys.